I did not know the Bruch Adagio Appassionato prior to preparing this recording, but I was introduced to it and immediately felt like, oh, this would work really well on this album that I'm planning. Bruch had a great fondness for the violin in particular. He actually wrote to his publisher saying that the Adagio Appassionato, he believes, is his greatest work. And to have that kind of statement from the composer himself, and now nobody knows this piece, um, it's quite a contrast. Bruch wrote the music in a way that is so, always so natural and so heartfelt. But even within that, to create contrast, to create uh, lines, to, you know, there's passages, there's runs, there's intricacies within, within and with the orchestra, and to, to kind of construct and create all of that, that is, um, a work to do in this piece, I think. But once that is done and once there's an idea formed behind it, I think it's a really, uh, a really magical work. This is my first approach and first meeting with this Adagio Appassionato by Bruch. And already from the title, you start to think that there's controversy in the title. Uh, slow but passionate. Uh, you know, you not very frequent come to such a uh, device <laughs> in, uh, in, in tempo. But uh, to me, it's a very interesting piece. Working with Esther in studio rather than the concert platform is quite different. We um, first and foremost get to see her face, which is lovely. To see the expressions on the soloist's face is really helpful to me personally with interpretation. It adds um, warmth and we, we feel her musical generosity very vividly.